Good morning YouTube. Today we're going to change the oil in a Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and we are in my garage and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience and today we're going to give you a bit of a DIY video on changing the oil on a Lamborghini Huracan and I'll be Honest, I've never done the oil on a Lamborghini Huracan, so I'm gonna be learning as we go, so forgive me if I make mistakes. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. You can help us out by visiting our website, normalguyssupercar.com, and of course, you can buy any of our supercars that are for sale on our website, NG Supercars, so check that out. We love you guys when you support us, so thank you so much. All right, let's turn this thing around and get it up in the air, and ooh, I heard there's eight drain plugs. Oh boy. So now we gotta get down the jack points, which are kind of right up near the front, and there's one that's kind of inset a bit. All right, YouTube, we've got it at the lift points. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of bump it up and see if it'll lift without squishing anything. If it Let's see if it's touching the carbon. Oh man, it might have cleared. Oh, there's still a gap, just barely. All right, so I've got the lift set so that they're not touching the side panels, the side carbon fiber, and let me tell you, that is the closest of any car I've ever done. It is like a sheet of paper. It's so, so narrow. But we're gonna get the stuff done up top first. We're gonna take off this panel right here. This gets us access to the oil filler and the oil filter, which is up there. So let's get this off. It is uh, Torx. Oh, no, these are Allens. Sorry, they're five millimeter Allens, it looks like. So let's get that off and we'll get access to this. So there is the oil filler and there is the oil filter. So I believe that's like a 32 millimeter. So let's get the oil filter out as long as we got this on the ground, get that swapped out. We're gonna leave this loose so that it doesn't create a vacuum. Yeah, you can see that oil needs to go. So we'll just kind of leave it sitting like that. So it turns out I don't have a 32. I have a 30 and I have a 36. I don't have a 32. We're gonna give it a shot with the crescent wrench. I'm not a big fan of this, but again, you do what you can. Oh, it's starting to go. There. There. Okay, so we're gonna replace the oil filter and the O-ring. Yes, it is a, <laughs> a Volkswagen part, but it's Lamberg. Lamberg. Oh. It's part number 79198405E. And I got it from Scuderia Parts. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, Ta-da. And O-ring. So like, I'm trying to separate this damn oil filter and it is like, Usually they just unclip, but holy shit. This thing does not want to unclip. Like, oh, my, oh my God, there, finally. What in the world? Get this cleaned out. Take something that's kind of got some tackiness to it and pinch. You can raise the o-ring up. There. Okay, new o-ring. This filter on and why is it such a bitch to get this thing in there? Oh my lord, unnecessarily tight. All right, got the new filter. Clean up a little bit of oil that came out. Okay, in with you. Now, obviously, we won't be able to torque it to the proper specs, which is says right on it, 25 newton meters. But we'll just use our crescent wrench, and we'll do the best we can. There, it's pretty tight. All right, let's uh. Get it up in the air and start draining the oil. Okay, YouTube, so we're looking at the underside. Here's the front of the engine, and uh, there is this like felt-like bottom panel. We have to pull that off because there are drain plugs all over this sucker. Torx and these weird clippy things. 
All right, correction, these are T30, not T27. Uh, I don't know how to get those off yet. Uh, looks like they pop off. Okay, you get these things off, you kind of poke a screwdriver and then see how it like separates into almost two pieces and then the whole thing pops out. And again, these are just regular old T30s. There's a whole bunch of them. There's like six or seven on the back and then a couple up front. Surprise, there's a panel under the panel. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, well, we gotta get that panel off too. And that looks like it's uh, all T27s, okay. Oh, nope, 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 look at this thing. That's one of those weird, uh, like 12 pointers. All right, stuff's getting interesting. All right, got these loose. These are some weird ass bolts, man. I didn't notice this. There's a hidden, uh, one of those weird ones right there. And then there's more torques up there, up here, up here. This thing has like an unbelievable, look, look at how much hardware I've taken off already. It's crazy. This thing's nuts. Uh, this is the engine. Here's like a drain plug there. I gotta find all eight of these things. I'm trying to locate them all. There is so many bolts. This is the most confusing, strange design ever. I thought there was one up here somewhere. Uh, oh, there. I'll get a light. Uh, we'll take a look. Okay, I figured them all out. This is uh, this is nuts. Okay, so you got one, two, three, right? four, which it's not the trans. This is the trans here. This is the engine here. So four, uh, five, then back here, six, uh, seven, seven somewhere up in there. Ah, seven is way up there. And then where was number eight? Eight was, uh, Oh yeah, eight is right there. Good Lord. And of course, this is like a regular 13 millimeter hex. That is a big ass Allen, like 10. This is a five. This is a five. Uh, this is a T30, because you know, let's change it up. And then you got the triple square thing. Uh, it's like an eight and then an eight. Yeah, they just want to keep it interesting and make sure you got all the tools. So let's start draining. All right, we'll start with the big mamma jamma. And I think, let me double check that is a 10. Yes, it is. All right, it's a 10 millimeter. All right, let's bring it loose. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Oh, we're gonna need a breaker bar. Okay. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete. When all else fails. Get a bigger wrench. Okay, finally. All right, finally getting somewhere. Man, oh man. Oh, it's actually got an O-ring. That's fascinating, it's not a crush washer. All right, let's see if we can get this little guy while that thing is draining. Oh, okay. Looks like that might be the main plug. We're getting a lot of oil out of that one. All right, this one actually does have a crush washer. So we're gonna change out that crush washer. All right, so here's a drain plug, the old crush washer, or sorry, old crush washer, new crush washer. New crush washer is part N0138003, and I believe you actually need two of them, but I bought an aluminum crush washer kit because I was planning ahead. Huh. Good thinking there, Dan. All right, so that one's still got quite a bit to go, but this one basically is done draining, so we're gonna tighten that up. I think the little ones are only like 10 Newton meters, and this one is a lot more than that. So we're gonna tighten those up, and then we'll get to that one on the side. Okay, just snug for now. I'm gonna look up the uh, torque specs, and let's tighten that down. All right, I think it's 33 foot-pounds, not Newton meters, so, whoops. There we go. All right, you can see this one's basically done draining. So we'll clean it up a little bit, put the plug in and tighten it down. And again, I think these go to 10 Newton meters. So not a whole lot of torque, so you don't want to go crazy on these things. There. 
All right. All right, let's get this other drain plug 13 millimeter loose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to make sure I didn't knock that out of the way. All right, hopefully this one doesn't have too much force because it's kind of pointing straight at me. Oh, that wasn't much at all. All right, well, that's nice. Oh man, those things are taking forever to drain. While we're waiting for them to drain, do me a favor, hit the like, share, and subscribe button down there. Or better yet, when we're all done with this video, go watch some more of our content. We got tons of DIY stuff, lots of for our content. We do appreciate what you guys support us, so thank you. All right, so this one's basically done draining, so we're gonna tighten it up, and it goes to 18 foot-pounds. We have a new crush washer on the bolt. All right, got the torque wrench set. Oh, it's too big. That's not very tight. Uh, okay, that's what it says. That seems really not very tight at all. All right, that took forever to drain, but it's finally getting there. So let's put that drain plug back in. New crush washer, and we're torquing them down to 10 newton meters. 10 newton meters. All right, we're tightening down to 10 newton meters. There we go. All right, so let's bring it loose. Uh, there we go. Whoa, that one came out with some force. That was cool. It actually made a fart sound. Nice. How is there this much oil everywhere in this damn car? I don't see a crush washer on this one, so I have to assume it's still there. So I'm gonna use a pick and try and see if there's a crush washer up there. It may have fallen out. Oh, yep, I see it in there. Okay, there it is. Found it. Just wanna keep track, make sure we get them all out. All right, got that sucker in there. Uh, let's tighten it down and torque it down. Okay, we now have the plug for the oil cooler and it is actually a 19 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, or you can use that crazy weird thing. I'm just gonna do 18, whoa, that was very loose. <laughs> okay. Well, wasn't all that much in there, all right. So I didn't get this on camera, but there was a crush washer that was stuck up there and I flipped it off with the uh, pick. So don't forget to replace the crush washer. This one I think is like 22 foot pounds. There, that's not super tight either. None of these are very tight. I feel like they got a lot of potential for leaks, but okay. All right, down to the last two. It's these weird, stupid triple square thing, whatever's, and it's on these oil cooler lines. All right, got that one broken loose. We're getting down to the end. That's gonna pee all over that line, isn't it? I'm gonna tuck that up there just for now. There we go. All right. It was very uh, awesome design to make all these bends that put the oil into like a, you know, depression so it would stay there when you're draining it. I guess it's not a whole lot of oil, but you know, you kind of do want to get as much of it out as you can. Done draining. Got a new crush washer. Get it on there and torque it down. All right, this last one is really kind of hard to see. It's way up there. As you can see, it's another depression in the oil cooler line. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get the camera up in there, but uh, we're gonna do the same thing as we just did on this one and try not to make too big of a mess because it's gonna drain right onto this uh, this thing right here. So I'm gonna use this uh, flexible funnel and wrap it over this uh, cross member because otherwise the oil is just all gonna pee right you know, onto this cross member and make a mess. One of you guys, uh, one of my viewers actually recommended this. It's cool, you can actually like bend it into shape and it kind of holds its shape. So you can see we can actually get it to make a nice little funnel. So I can put it up there and have it drain where I want it, which is that's kind of handy. Yeah, that'll work great. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got the funnel kind of tilted right towards the, the drain pan. Ha, it worked like a charm. Oh, that was super awesome. Kudos to whoever suggested that, I forgot your name. Now we just gotta torque that down. Torque it down. All right, we're finally done draining. That is a lot. Uh, now I see why hurricanes cost a lot to do, because it's a lot of labor. 
All right, well, let's uh, get it on the ground, fill it up, and then, and then put on the bottom panel. So I want to make sure there's no leaks because there are so many damn drain plugs on this thing. Okay, we're going to get it on the ground, add the oil, put it back up in the air after we run it, and get it topped off because I don't want leaking. That was a lot of drain plugs. I don't trust having them all not leak, so... <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start adding oil and it takes about 10, a little bit over 10 quarts of oil. I've seen where other people use like 20W40 um, and some other weights. This is what Lamborghini told us to use. They said they're using 0W30. And so that's what we're gonna use because I trust what Lamborghini says. Got some liquid molly 10 or 0W30. We're gonna add about 10 quarts. You can see I already added one. Once we get about nine quarts in there, what we gotta do is we're gonna start it up run it for a little bit, make sure that there's no leaks. We'll put it up in the air and then put it back on the ground after we've run it for a bit. Then we got to get it up to operating temperature. We'll put on everything in the bottom, get it up to operating temperature, and then you actually let it run at idle for two minutes. Once it's at temperature, you shut it off, you wait two minutes, and then you measure it. Weird. Okay, that's how they do it. That's how they do it in this car. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, we've got about nine quarts of this stuff in there. So let's fire it up, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll shut it off, put it on the bottom panel, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll top it off. All right, like I said, just wanted to run it for a second, make sure the oil got everywhere. So now it got full pressure. We'll put it back up in the air. and make sure there's no leaks, then put on the bottom panels. Just looking around, making sure that there is no leaks on any of the different, uh, different spots where we drained oil, and so far, so good. So I think, hooray, we can just put on the bottom panel. So again, metal panel first, felt panel second, all of those bolts over there, yeah. Okie dokie, YouTube, we finally got it all bolted back up. There is 38 or so screws. I think it was 30. 37 or 38, it's pretty crazy. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, after doing this, I can see why uh, they, they would charge, why Lamborghini would charge probably close to $1,000 because it's probably three hours, two, hour, two to three hours of labor, if not more. The materials plus, you know, oil and oil filter and all that shit, and they're using expensive oil. Okay, we're gonna start up, turn around so that the exhaust is blowing out of the garage because I don't want to die. And we gotta wait for it to warm up to like, I think it was like 160, 170 degrees, whatever. Anyway, we'll let it run for quite a while, then we'll turn it off, check it, and make sure we don't overfill this thing. I will never complain about a Ferrari oil change again. This is a pain in the ass. Alrighty, YouTube, we let it idle until it got warmed up on the oil, so I just shut it off, and I need to set a timer for two minutes. There we go. So we'll just wait for two minutes, then we check it, and then top it off if necessary, which we're probably gonna be low, because I intentionally did not add a ton, because I didn't want to overfill it. All right, let's... Let's give it a check. Wipe off the dipstick. Okay. And as expected, we're not even on the stick. So good. That's, uh, I guess, good. We did not overfill it. So let's add some more. All right, YouTube, we've got closer to like 13 liters of oil. And as you can see now, when I put it in there, it is right in the middle of the do not fill. So I am going to call that good. And we are done. Whoops. Ta-da. Now we just got to put on this bottom cover and we're all set. Well, YouTube, there you have it. It's uh, not my favorite car to change the oil on, but it's not impossible. It just takes a lot of time. I've been working on it for about three and a half hours. Granted, I've been filming. So I could probably do it in about two and a half hours is my guess, but still quite a project compared to a lot of the other cars. So it took closer to 13 liters of oil. We're using the 0W30. That's what Lamborghini told us to use. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it. And go watch some of our other videos. We do appreciate that even more. We'll be doing a lot of car stuff. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.